This is not an example solve video. This is a first face example solve. When I so show you, I will not be solving the entire cube. I will just be solving the first face. So you can have an idea of the best ways to do the first face for Ortega. Let's get started. In this example, we've got two bars. We can put them in like that. Okay, this looks like a more reasonable scramble. In this case, we've got bars on quite a few colors, but um, let me check orange. I am going to go with orange, so that's... We can put this here and then pair it up as we insert. Okay, what colors do we have bars on? Um, red and blue. Hmm, uh, red? Let's go with red. So we'll put this in and then insert that. Oh, and it skipped OLL. That's nice. Okay, white. Yeah, let's do white. Um, don't need to inspect much more. Actually, we should have because there is a two bars, so we can just do two moves to make orange there. Something you're probably noticing as this goes along is that two by two, you'll usually get a lucky first face. There's it, it's it's much more likely to get a good first face than to get an unlucky one. Um, could eh, yellow orange yellow doesn't look very good. Don't know my colors. Neither does orange. How about red? Yeah, we can do red. Um, okay, so we'll move that up here and then insert with an R2. Don't know if I explained that very well, but the idea for this is just that you will get the gist of how this all sort of pans out and you can potentially get some ideas for cases that you previously weren't so sure on the best way to solve them. I'm really not very good at scrambling. Okay, here's green. Um, in this instance, I would... Nothing good for those. Um, we'll put in this white piece with an insert, but then do an R2 into an insert for the piece in the back as well. In here, uh, there's a two move insert to connect these pieces and then insert them into the bottom and it skipped over well. Hmm. Ooh, I'll show you an interesting new one. I don't know if this is the most, um, most move efficient, but this is actually pretty cool. So if we put this here and then move it aside, we can connect up the yellows and then insert them like that. I think that's pretty cool. In terms of just opening new perspectives, that's that's a good option. Three move insert for yellow. We just move that there, connect and in. Hmm. Ooh, yellow and white both look good. I'll do yellow, so move that here, connect them and they okay. Here, here's the trick again that I showed you before is that we insert this but then go in into an R2 to cancel into the insert of that piece in the back as well. What have we got? This is a really bad case. So on white you've got a bar but these pieces here, it's it's doable. You could do like this but oh, I really don't like doing that. So, oh I messed it up. Never mind. I'll scramble it again. So here we have heaps of bars across the cube. White is pretty close to being inserted, but actually green looks, let me just check. Yeah, green looks the most promising here. So we can, instead of inserting this, we can actually do an R2 and then U2 to pair them up and then an R2 put them in. And then that's actually a really easy OLL as well. Okay, dokey. What have we got here? Where's that yellow piece? Um, we could do uh, red here, but it's actually not ideal because we'd have to move this out of the way first to insert it. Um, so I think I'll try a different color. Green? Yeah, green's pretty good. So we can insert one but cancel into the insert of the other there. Okay, um, white's, uh, not, white's okay. What about... Oh, blue is pretty terrible as well. It's honestly not worth looking for solutions. I don't think it's worth looking for solutions if there isn't a, a bar already made. So we'll go for white. So actually, this is easier than I thought. Put this here and then cancel into the inside of that one. Yeah, that was, that's actually pretty easy. Okay. There's three pieces on red, but actually this piece is in. So that might be better to look for another color. Yeah, here we go. This is a case I wanted to show you guys. So if you've got... Um, three of white, or even if you just had two, 
Um, nah, it works best with three. In, on three by three, if you had something like this, you would probably move one up and then insert it like this. Okay, so, but if you have one facing up on two by two, there is a much easier solution. This only works on Ontega because it does permute the pieces as well, but you can actually just join it up and then insert it like that. Super easy. Okay, here we have... Oh, green's actually really good. So, uh, this doesn't look very obvious, but there's a really easy solution here, which is to move this back, then across, pair it up, and insert. Okay, um, blue's really easy. Uh, cancel into the insert of that one. Okay, so here we can insert this by putting it there and then connecting the two to insert. Okay, there's blue. Yeah, blue's good. So we move this here, connect them, and insert. So here we can cancel into the insert of this by overshooting a bit with the insert of this one. What's this I see here? Is this an easy case? So there's two ways you could do this. You could put this here and then connect them, or move this here and then insert like that. With any of these, there could be a better solution, but inspection time is limited, and if you're doing Ortega, it's probably worth more of your time to find a good first face and then predict OLL than try and find the best first face and not predict OLL. So in here, it's the same solution for both green and blue. And let me just check, there's nothing good for orange. Uh, it's not great. No. So with this, we, instead of, we could insert this, but then we overshoot to also insert the on the back. Oh, and that skipped Dola. What a happy surprise. Okay. Anything good? For oh, orange is good. Okay. We'll just do a double insert like that. Oh, three on white. Oh, this is three move inset. Do do. That's fun. Ooh, this is interesting. So this doesn't look very intuitive about how you would do white, but actually if we move this over here, then we can pair it up like that and insert. And now I will solve the cube because we are finished. I hope you found these example solves useful. I didn't explain everything I was doing because I wasn't trying to show you the best way to solve every time, but I just hoped I could give you some clues or ideas of some ways you could be more efficient in some of the cases that you get. The cube I use for this is the X-Man Designs Flare 2x2M. JPM says the corner cutting was whack. And I agree, out of the box, it was pretty whack. It's not, the corner cutting is honestly not great, but um, after some break in some lubrication, I found the cube is really good. Make sure to go watch the review up here. Oh, I love how it focuses. You see when I do this, it's and then it focuses up here. Focus, it's not doing it now. Oh God. Anyway, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do any other Ortega tips and tricks videos, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.